the highest common factor or HCF of algebraic terms. This video builds on my previous videos on factors and highest common factors of numbers. See link in the description below. As a reminder, let us consider the factors of 12. What are the factors of 12? 1. Yes. 1 could go into 12 without leaving a remainder. How many times? 12 times. So both 1 and 12 are factors. 2. Yes. 2 could go into 12 6 times. So both 2 and 6 are factors. 3. Yes. 3 could go into 12 4 times. 4. We already have 4 listed. So that is all. When listing pair of factors in this way, checking each number in turn, when you reach a number already listed, you are done. The list of factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Understood. Let us consider a simple algebraic term, x to the fourth power, which is x multiplied by x multiplied by x multiplied by x, or x four times being multiplied. What are the factors of x to the fourth power? Is 1 a factor? Yes. 1 could go into x to the fourth power, x to the fourth power times. So 1 and x to the fourth power are factors. What else? You guessed it. x. x is also a factor. x multiplied by x to the third power is equal to x to the fourth power. x squared? Yes. x squared multiplied by x squared or x squared squared is equal to x to the fourth power. So x squared is also a factor. So our list of factors of x to the fourth power is 1, x, x squared, x cubed, and x to the fourth power. This is important. For x to a particular power, all the smaller powers of x and itself are factors. With this knowledge, we know that the factors of b to the fifth power are 1, b, b squared, b to the third power, b to the fourth power, and b to the fifth power. Similarly, we know the factors of m squared are 1, m, and m squared. Okay, great. The highest common factor of two terms, a to the third power and a to the fourth power. Now, the factors of a to the third power are 1, a, a squared, and a to the third power. The factors of a to the fourth power are 1, a, a squared, a to the third power, and a to the fourth power. Thus, the common factors are 1, a, a squared, and a third. And the highest common factor is a to the third power. It is the term with the lowest power. What about the HCF of p squared q to the fourth power and p cubed q? Actually, the HCF is the combination of the HCF of each letter that exists in all terms. The HCF of p squared and p cubed is p squared. And the HCF of q to the fourth power and q is q. So the HCF of p squared, q to the fourth power, and p to the third power, q, is p squared, q. This extends to numbers. What is the HCF of 3x squared, y cubed, c to the fourth power, and 9x, c to the third power? The HCF of 3 and 9 is 3. The HCF of x squared and x is x. The HCF of y to the third power and... There is no y in the second algebraic term. So y isn't common. It doesn't exist in all terms. The HCF of z to the fourth power and z to the third power is z to the third power. So the HCF of 3x squared y cubed z to the fourth power and 9x z to the third power is 3x z to the third power. To summarize, systematically list in pairs of factors ensure that you don't miss any. For x to a particular power, all the smaller powers of x and itself are factors. The HCF of a few terms of x is the term of x raised to the lowest power. And the HCF of an expression is a combination of the HCF of each letter common to all terms. That is it for this video. I am Mr. Duby. If you found this video helpful, if you appreciate what I am trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.